Happening today, two satellites are on a collision course, and the site of impact is expected over Pittsburgh. Now, it's not a guarantee they'll collide, but there is a chance that will happen. Chris Hoffman is live downtown this morning to explain. Now, Chris, when can we expect that possible collision to actually happen? Good morning. It's predicted that these two will come within 15 to 30 meters of each other around 6:30 this evening. So pretty much as you're home having dinner, watching the KDKA evening news. Now, if these do collide, it would be more than 900 kilometers. That's roughly 560 miles above us. Experts say the one satellite is 10 pounds, about the size of a trash can, so not too big, while the other is the size of a small car. And their speed, well, it's traveling more than 10 times faster than a bullet. According to Leo Labs, one of the satellites is a decommissioned space telescope that was launched in 1983. The other is an experimental U.S. payload launched in 67. The odds for these two things actually hitting each other, it's not too high. Only one in 100 chance. So there's no guarantee they'll even hit. And if they do, we're not in any danger, according to experts. Is not guaranteed that it's going to collide. But if it does, any fragments that fall to Earth are going to hit the atmosphere at tremendous speed and burn up. Much like a shooting star. In fact, if you do see anything, it will look like a, sort of a burst of shooting stars almost. And there's a chance you could see this with your eyes. If the clouds part, it should be visible. And again, as you just heard there, experts are saying if you look up to the sky, it would look like shooting stars. And once again, no danger for all of us down here in southwestern Pennsylvania. We're outside the Carnegie Science Center this morning, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.